morning. Welcome to Prime Time News. I'm Anupama Swarna. Right now, the headlines. Bike and car head-on collision. Rider seriously injured at Talapadi. Advocate opens fire in Mudvidre. Fight with a student on the road. Someone's closed door gaining gold mall. Useless Nalkemar housing board quarters. Woman abducted from Kumbra, safe escaped, case filed at Sambia. Pakistan earthquake toll rose to 350, 3 lakh people affected in Avaran. Gorilla separatist attack on police station, Home Minister collecting Jambu incident. Pending areas of Brahmava sugar factory will be paid before December, factory president. Workers' death in Modibidri unclear, Human Rights Commission directs Police Commissioner. Bike and a car collided head-on in Talapadi near Kerala and the bike rider 25-year-old Ismail got seriously injured in the incident. He has been admitted to the hospital. The injured bike rider has been identified as Islam, a resident of Udyavar, who had written from the Gulf country recently. Ismail, living from Anglo from home, chanced to confront a rich car driven by Rafu, who was returning from the hospital, but getting his mother after finishing the dialysis since she was ailing. The confrontation has taken place in Kerala, NS66 near Talapadi, passing from Mangalore. The bike getting damaged completely, the front part is badly damaged. Bike rider Ismail sustained injury all over his body except his head since he wore a helmet. The traffic getting disrupted as I Krishna led police team of highway patrol police arrived at the spot and eased out the congestion generated on road. Scuffle between a student and a lawyer over a trivial matter which could have been better dealt with from both the sides or that things could have been handled in a much better manner has paved way for all sorts of confusions in Mudvidre. The unprecedented scuffle between a student called Tanvir Ahmad and advocate Shanti Prasad came to be the talk of the town. Later, very unfortunately, it could be said. Shanti Prasad Higde, in an attempt to take his daughter from school, home on Wednesday noon, had taken his large Innova car in Riversgale, during which the car kissed the bike belonging to Tanvir Ahmad, a student who for obvious reasons reacted but slightly tougher than expected. Unmindful of the fact that he is a respectable lawyer, Tanvir questioned him if he had no manners and over a statement to the effect if he would kill him, which came to the misconstrued by the lawyer, believing maybe that his life had been endangered. Ahmad Tanvir had asked the lawyer, Kedpara, which means, are you going to kill me? Maybe he meant that the lawyer was causing him damage in terms of his money with the hit to the bike that he had caused. The lawyer again from his inside turmoil at the word killing, it has been allegedly said that the lawyer got worked up by the remark, pulled out his revolver and shot in the air, which created stir since his style inside the car cried aloud. This commotion created some misconception in the bystanders that Tanvir Ahmad had been causing nuisance to the lawyer found with his style who assaulted Tanvir Ahmad. Tanvir Ahmad never realizing the situation could flare up finally found refuge in a mosque threatened of the consequences now. Again a few people reached the mosque too, looking for Tanir Ahmad. By this time, Mudubidri SI Ramesh Kumar and his staff took the boy into custody. The inmates of the mosque too conducted themselves peacefully with the agitated people and handed over Tanir only after the police reached there and showed their wisdom in handling a situation such as this. Finally, Panambur ACP Ravi Kumar reaching the spot eased out the tension gathered thus. Tanvir, the assaulted person, has been awaiting medical treatment. Motividri police have registered a case. You can remember what has been said in the famous American novel, Godfather, that there is a crime behind every fortune. Find out what had been said by them is true or untrue. Golmal in Nalkemar residential quarter, such one in around. If the appearance outside found different, the real matters of hidden agenda gets concealed in shady deals such as this. The Golmal practice had been held by Karnataka Housing Board in its construction of residential homes, subletting the construction to private individuals and they again sublet to some other party has caused all sorts of tangles which have been the main behind the huge failure of this project of the residential quarters raised five years before. The residential quarters have been found unworthy of occupation since they lack basic facilities such as water and other things. 
The reason behind the entire deal is murky. Since everything had been carried out here by a few individuals for doing a big fraud of in government funds, who could be behind this? What could have been the objective behind this venture? Many of the residential quarters bought by a few earlier are also found reluctant to occupy despite the passing of five years. They somehow want to get rid of it selling the quarters, but there are no takers even for buying cheaper than for what the amount that they had purchased them. Forget making profits. Six acres of land had been purchased in Nalkimar in Amtadi for building residential quarters by the Home Ministry. The land having been acquired for rupees 2 lakhs then, it was purchased for 1.32 lakhs per cents then. This amounts to saying that the rate 1.32 percent is the current rate now in 2013. The reasons very clearly big sharks, shady deal agents got involved in parting huge benefit from the funds allocated. Besides the construction work undertaken, here smacks of third rated job work entertained. If there is tanker found, it doesn't supply water. Roads have been potholed, drains are substandard. Mescom has had 12 houses for its staff. They don't intend occupying this place since there is no basic infrastructure besides no clerical staff has been appointed for looking after the sites here yet. Not even a single staffer has occupied these homes as yet. The houses got transferred from Home Ministry just five to six months back. Lack of coordination between MESCOM and KEB authorities has been found to be the bane of all this exercise. Besides this, house sites have been sold for exorbitantly high rates unthinkable. Now you can read between the lines of the profit sharing by the mediators over this well thought out exercise carried out just for pocketing money in between. From all these findings, it can be inferred very clearly that these residential quarters were not built for anybody's good or prosperity and that they were intended for the personal benefits of a few people who carried out this meticulous operation from behind closed doors for their purposes of earning huge benefits at the expense of the sponsors. This again amounts to saying that sponsors themselves could be involved in percentage of profit sharing in the shady or murky deal. Coming up after the break. Woman abducted from Kumbra, safe escaped, case filed at Sambia. Pakistan earthquake toll rose to 353 lakh people affected in Avaran. Gorilla separatist attack on police station, Home Minister collecting Jambu incident. Pending areas of Brahmava sugar factory will be paid before December factory president. Workers' death in Modi unclear, Human Rights Commission directs Police Commissioner.